It's 2015. The Herring and the Seals have once again returned to this man-made lock of wharves here in Triton, Newfoundland. It seems that this has been a reoccurring event. Ever since 1996, there's been quite often over the years a return of the Herring to these wharves. Do these seals return here by instinct, or is it just a natural process that the herring and the seals meet in these waters as often as they do? This year missing from this fishing melee are the codfish and whales that have too in these past years been part of this food frenzy. I wonder is it because this school of herring is unaccompanied by codfish could this reveal that these fish are not appetizing to greater hordes of seals and whales? As only one whale has been spotted here this year. It was not a humpback, however. It was said to be a smaller minke whale, or known locally as a grumpus. Meantime, these seals get to enjoy these stores of fish. As in the past, they will swim into this gathering of fish and pick one at a time to devour. They may eat another one or two before heading to the safety of the head of the wharf, where they can linger for a few moments. This school of herring is thick, but not so thick as years gone by. Here we can get a little perspective of how the herring perceive the seals as they infiltrate their domain. From the surface looking down, the water seems clean and clear, but as you can see, the camera shows debris that is being kicked up from the bottom and is carried in on the tide. But most of what you are seeing are the scales from the herring as they are being shed during the attacks by the seals. Unbeknownst by the people up above, there are a few cod hiding on the bottom near the wharves. In years past, there have been tons and tons of cod swimming below the schools of herring. The seals like to feast on the cod too. Whereas the seal cannot chew its food because it has no molars, only sharp teeth, they have to tear and gnash at the fish until it is positioned as such in its mouth that they are able to swallow it whole. Seals, as you know, are great swimmers. Their torpedo-shaped bodies make it easy for them to swim great speeds and distances. Seals gather in great numbers. Here, you may be able to pick out about a dozen or so. In 2010, I noted about 50 or more all feeding in the same place. All Newfoundlanders are aware of the abundance of seals in our oceans, I have no doubt, and the impact that we believe they have on our fisheries. But as long as they are here putting on a show, we might as well enjoy nature at its best. You cannot anticipate what you may find the next time you walk along these wharves or through the vastness of the wooded lands about us. You may not know what you may catch when you try for a trout or salmon near your favorite brook or lake. These are some of the reasons that we love this land and its way of life. The not knowing of what each day may bring is what keeps us here. It's what keeps me interested in taking my camera along in hopes that I may find something new to share with you. And maybe along the way preserve a little history of how it is for us to have lived in this time. Triton, Newfoundland is the place where I have spent most of my life. I grew up in Gander, which is well inland. While at times growing up in Gander, our family would visit Outport, Newfoundland. We did not experience much of anything like I have experienced in this north central part of our island. Amazing nature that appears just about at your doorstep, so spectacular that you cannot anticipate what you may experience next. From the hilly wooded land to the wild and wonderful ocean, and to live alongside the warm-hearted and generous proud people of Triton and all around, 
and proud to call this place my home. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share this and any and all of my videos of our Newfoundland. Thank you.